Hey Daryl, here's a quick tutorial, uh, like I promised before, on how to set up a limiter um, for when you are recording audio um, going into both Logic and Pro Tools. First we'll just do Logic. Uh, you can see here I do have uh, one audio track already set up. Um, when you open a new um, session, it'll ask you if you want to do this. Just go ahead and do it. Then if you push um, the Command 2 button, You'll come over to your mixer um, window, and here you want to set up an aux track. Um, I have two of them, and I'll explain why in a second. Um, but you'll see here um, that I actually have my input coming from my computer. The actual microphone uh, is actually coming through the aux track first, going into bus one. And when you click bus one, it'll create another aux track. You can just set that to have no input. Originally, it was bus one, but we really don't need this. We just need the bus active. And then you go to your audio track right here, and you make that input bus one. So now it's not getting the audio from the microphone directly. The audio is coming first through your aux track and then into your audio track. And now you can see here when I click record enable, that I'm actually peaking the mic and we'll get rid of those but then on your inserts on your auxiliary track you're gonna come in and you are going to put a limiter of some sort so we'll just use this one and we'll take the threshold down just a little bit and you can see that it's actually working there here it's no longer peaking and it's showing you the gain reduction here as well. Hit record and you can see now when I actually press record, let me do that, I'm now recording, but when things get a little too loud, ah, they are uh, limited. So you don't get massive nasty pops in, uh, in your session. So you can see here is the audio um, that I just recorded and yeah so that's it's pretty simple uh, you don't want to limit too much make sure that it's just for you know very sparse amounts of um, overage because otherwise you will hear that compression moving on to Pro Tools Pro Tools is pretty easy I already have this session set up with an aux track this is uh, an audio book I've been recording with a friend um, here you do the exact same thing uh, effectively. You can press uh, Command Plus to come back to your mix window. And here's our aux track here. So you see I have, let me see, oh I actually have this for edit, how, how I edit. Um, I have everything going to uh, the aux track and then the aux track going to my outputs that way I don't have to set up the limiters and compressors every single time I want to bounce a track um, but to record to one of these say we've got chapter 9 um, that we're recording uh, I can come here and you're going to select interface um, let me see here oh this is a stereo one let me let me set one up then so we can do this right come here mono, keep that mono, aux input, there it is. So now we're going to set up interface 1 for our microphone coming into interface 1 on the M box. Output, we're going to do, uh, let's just do bus 1 for now, just to keep it simple, everything on 1. And then again we're on chapter, chapter 9 here, go to uh, bus 1 is the input, or it's a stereo, sorry, it's a stereo track, but so we'll do one and two, bus one and two. Uh, if you were recording mono, of course, it would be uh, just bus one would show up and then your output as regular. Uh, just like in Logic, you come into your um, little jobber here, um, except here, um, yeah, now you're just going to go straight to your dynamics, and uh, I'll pull up the, the um, T-Rex uh, brick wall limiter that I wanted to show you as well. Let's do the exact same thing, bring the threshold down. Uh, maybe. There we go. Bring the threshold down just a little bit. And I don't have any audio actually to show you with this one. Um, but uh, 
uh, just make sure that the gain reduction, you'll see it here, um, that you don't have very much, if ever, any at all. Uh, you don't want to you don't want to be hitting the limiter when you're recording as much, uh, more as a precaution than anything, so you don't have, uh, you don't lose that one take that would have just been glorious just because someone got a little too loud in one spot. And uh, when you record, the same exact thing happens. The mic feeds into your inbox, which of course feeds into this guy here. Um, he goes, uh, the audio will go through the T-Rex compressor, and then, of course, it gets sent to bus one. Bus one is fed into the track here, so when we hit record, um, voila, we have uh, limiting before the actual uh, audio hits the track. And in a nutshell, my friend, that is, um, that's how it's done. So, uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will do my best to answer them. Talk to you soon, man.